A shorter vlog i'm really sorry i just had a heap of work to get done earlier this week but it's all done now thankfully and i'm really glad i took a few days off to get it all done so that i can be more present with you guys over the next few days today is friday i've had a really nice morning just those crumpets by the way that you guys saw me having so good they're like sourdough crumpets and i've seen them at a few of the local grocery stores recently like the more like bougie ones i guess and i just thought that they looked maybe like they would be a bit like hard and dry and i literally hate hard or dry bread um and like same with bagels like bagels if they're hard i just really don't like them i like them if they're a bit soft at least i know that they're not meant to be like super soft like a bagel's not known for that but i just if they're like rock hard it's no from me um and they were so soft these crumpets they were really good like once they're toasted delicious so definitely recommend if you've seen them around and you've wanted to try them give them a try because they're actually really good um but i have lots to show you guys i did some damage online shopping a few weeks ago or honestly over the past few weeks and i've sort of just been like holding on to it because i know that not everyone wants to see that stuff um, but I know that some of you do as well, so I figured I would just like save it all for those of you that want to see it And then I can just film all in one go and then if you don't want to see it obviously skip ahead But if you do like seeing like hauls of the things I get then this is for you guys and I'll show you everything that I've got I do like honestly, I'm just so obsessed with everything So I'm excited to show you guys because I feel like it's like worth showing and I haven't done it in ages So I'll show you guys everything that I got. I need your opinion on a few things as well i literally have done so much damage so the first thing i got i have been waiting for this to restock and they finally restocked it is the jeff avenue fruit robe and i'm just so excited about it it's so cute this print is just everything and i just love like colorful bright fun pieces and this will be so perfect for winter so cute for get ready with me's and things like that as well and it feels amazing from dish i just got this set it's not like sold as a set again i was waiting for this to restock too so i got these shorts in the size six but i'm not sure if they will fit me you guys know i love like blue like boxer short sort of style things and i feel like these are really cute they're just the perfect shade of blue the waistband feels like quite tight but then the length is quite long so i'm really hoping these fit me um i'll go to wear them and then you guys will see anyway and then i also just got this long sleeve in a size four but this honestly it looks quite big like she's quite like my shoulders are like here and then it comes all the way out to there so i'm just not sure like, I know it's meant to be oversized, but hopefully it's not, like, swamping me. But um, I love this so much, and I'm really praying that it's not too big because I feel like it'll just be such a capsule wardrobe staple. This is another restock. They restocked it in, I think, the white and the pink, and I was a little bit undecided on what color to get, but I feel like pink is just very me. This dress is from I Am Delilah, and it has, like, the crossover, like, at the front there. It is a maxi dress as well. The material is really beautiful, and I feel like this is just 
like this just like screams me and i can't wait to wear this on a holiday at some point i think it's really beautiful the shade of pink again perfect love her so much i am obsessed with these jeans i just think they are so sick i've seen them everywhere and i just couldn't help myself the only thing i would say though is that the sizing is a little bit off. So I got these in a size 25. The recommended sizing on their like size guide for me was a 28. So I'm so glad I got the 25 because they're even still a little bit too big. And Jade in London just confuses me because I've ordered a dress from there like years ago and it was way too big. So I ordered this dress. I've ordered the same dress twice now, once in a size four, way too small, literally looked like it was made for a child. And then I ordered it again in the six thinking that would be okay. It's still too small. So I'm going to send it back, which is just really annoying. But then these are too big. So yeah, the sizing's just really like off for Jade of London stuff. And it's quite expensive to send it back to get a new size. Like it's like $35 just to send it back, which I do understand like having a business and stuff, but their sizing is just really inconsistent, which is annoying. So I don't really know what to do about these pants because they are a little bit too big for me. So I think it might honestly be cheaper for me to just get them altered, but then I hope they fit like okay so i'm a little bit on the fence about it but i'm so excited to style these i just think they are so sick and i'm obsessed with them i also just got a few jumpers from glassens and they're so cute so i just got this baby pink color and then i also got the gray as well the material is way thinner than i was expecting but honestly i'm really happy about that because i find that the reason i got these is because i wanted jumpers specifically zip ups that i can just throw on for when we go and walk the dogs or if i go for my morning walk after working out because i find that when I work out, I obviously get a little bit sweaty and then when I go for my morning walk outside because I've sweated, I get really cold. So, But then if I wear a jumper that's too thick, then I get really hot once I've warmed up a little bit again. So I feel like these are actually perfect because they're not going to be too thick and I won't get too hot in them. So very happy about these. And then in the same realm, I also just got these little zip up jumpers or like crops whatever they're called from csb in the black and the white just for my hot girl walkies they are a little bit hard to find on the website i actually didn't know that they were on there um originally so if you guys want to know the name of them leave a comment and i'll find the exact name you just need to type that into the search bar because it's not actually on like the general section of the website but love these and they again will come in so handy on my walks that's everything that i got though i'm so happy with all my purchases i won't do a try on for you guys because you'll see me wearing the pieces in any upcoming vlogs anyway so you see how it all fits or whatever um and if i end up returning anything i'll let you guys know but I feel like everything should be okay. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about is maybe the um, like the oversized shirt from Dish. But fingers crossed it's all good. I'm actually going to get changed now. I need to go to the shops and get... Or just like brows. I'm not sure. Actually, I have a rough idea of what I'm going to get them. I need to get Mother's Day presents for my mum and also Alana. And I think I know what I'm going to get them. And on the way, I think I'm going to grab some lunch. And I think I'm going to get those, um, you know, like the miso wraps that you get from the markets. I've heard that you can get them from an actual store when the markets aren't on. So I think that'll be a good like grab and go lunch option. And I've never had one before. So I'm excited to try them. A quick little uh, tea. D, just keeping it very comfy and cozy. We have Uggs, these sweatpants I already had, just from Glassons, and then just the zip up um, hoodie that you guys saw me show you earlier. And then poly bag, sling, sunglasses, and we are good to go. Jake also just said um, that I need to get myself a Mother's Day present as well, so I'm gonna do that. Hey boys, what are we getting mummy? What are we getting mummy? Huh? Here we go, you see the... Gymnastics mm -hmm. and probably... What are we getting mummy? What is mummy getting? What is mummy getting? What should I get? What are you gonna get me? Hmm? What are we gonna get? Kisses? Oh my god, it looks so good. It's actually called Mio Wraps. I thought it was Miso Wraps. And it's like a buckwheat wrap. And I just got the Aussie. It has like bacon, egg, Jack Merrick, whole slaw, and like lettuce and stuff in it, I think. 
but I'm excited to see how it tastes. That was delicious, you guys. Like, honestly, I was not expecting it to be that good. For some reason, I thought, well, first of all, I thought the name was Mio Wraps. No, Miso Wraps, but it's Mio Wraps. Second of all, for some reason, I thought, even though I know it's buckwheat, I thought it was like buckwheat and sushi just because it looks like a sushi wrap. So I just thought it was sushi. And I think because so many, like on the menu, a lot of them have Japanese mayo. So I just thought it was like a sushi vibe and I felt like like bacon and eggs and sushi, like, I don't know, I just thought I would hate that. And it's not like that at all. It's not even sushi. It's just literally like a crispy, crunchy wrap and it was delicious. I will definitely be getting that again. It was so good. And I'm really, really happy with that. So good to know. Um, and if you've been on the fence and are a dummy like I am, at least you know now as well, that was so good. But I, this song, I feel like I need to turn it off because I get copyrighted, but it reminds me so much of Magnolia Parks. It's like her and Julian. What part is it at? It's like, what section is it? It's like you could find. You would have been the one. That section. I'm on the wrong section. But you know that part of this song? I feel like that's why I get so attached to like the books. Because I feel like if I just read the books, I wouldn't be as attached as I get from then watching on TikTok like the fan casting or the Pinterest boards about the vibes or the fan art and just like the songs with the fan art or fan cast or whatever and like quotes from the book and then it just makes me like even more attached than I need to be because I never experienced this in the fall in the past until I started like I'd read a book and I would be like love it whatever move on whereas since it's all like come up on my TikTok and then I will like watch like quotes from the book and then it'll be like next to a song and I'm like oh and then I'll like have a cry about it and stuff and it's really bad for me guys and can anyone else relate because honestly I feel like I was fine until my TikTok started doing this to me so not ideal um but yeah it's so cute and I love like just reminds me of Magnolia and Julian if you know you know um, but my favorite, my favorite boy from Magnolia Parts is Christian. Like, I just love him. I feel like he's just, like, really sweet and attentive, and he just cares about Daisy so much. <sighs> so, Christian's my Magnolia Parks boyfriend, if I had to choose one, in case anyone was wondering. What, if you have read them, who's yours? Not what, who? Um, but I'm gonna go to the shops now and get looking in the Mother's Day department. My mum actually doesn't like Mother's Day for some reason. She's just like, she doesn't like birthdays. She doesn't like Mother's Day. She doesn't really like being celebrated. So I'm just going to get her something small. But Alana, she likes anything and everything. So I can go crazy with her. Even though I'd love to get her the same as me. Because I feel like she'd actually really love these. I feel like that's weird getting her the same. So I might just get her different ones. And then if she wants to swap it over for the same than she can but i feel like these are cute actually maybe she'd prefer these i feel like she might i'm thinking maybe this scarf would be cute for my mum. she does like a scarf oh, oh my god it's <laughs> four bags i'm just at the oxley i'm gonna get some groceries for dinner tonight um i'll show you guys once i get home but when i was at the shops i bought this big beautiful lasagna dish it is so stunning. It's definitely just like right up my alley in terms of you guys know I'm just a sucker for like baking dishes and homewares and all that sort of stuff. And I wasn't sure what I was going to have for dinner. Well, anyway, I was walking past house and I swatted it and I just couldn't say no. It's stunning. I'll show you guys her. Um, and yeah, I feel like I can use it for a few different things. I feel like I don't need to just use it for lasagna, but it is a lasagna dish. So I'm thinking I may as well make lasagna for dinner. I've actually never made lasagna before, so please don't come for me. I feel like this will be good though. You know that lasagna soup that I made with Verity? It would have been like a few months ago now, probably like end of last year, and it was so good. But I'm thinking of doing like that sort of vibe, but just an actual lasagna, um, like vodka pasta vibes. Like that's what I'm thinking. So I'm, I'm going to get the ingredients now and uh, I'll make that for dinner tonight. <laughs> I 
I just go math that whole situation so hard and I'll explain how. So basically when I posted to my TikTok the other day of my like gingham pajama sets that I got from Country Road and also the cashmere sweater, I had a heap of comments being like, oh my God, girl, like you should have um, done the spend and save, which I didn't know was even a thing at Country Road. Basically, if you spend X amount of money, you get a certain amount off. So roughly, for example, if you spend $600, you get $200 off. So I was like, oh my God, amazing. Like I wish I'd known about that. So I actually went back with my pajamas and my cashmere sweater that I got and I was like can I get this refunded and then um, she put it through for me again with the spend and save because I wanted to get a heap of stuff for Mother's Day as you guys know. So basically my original total was $560 or something like that I think from the other week. So got that refunded and then I basically just placed a whole new order worth of stuff and as you guys know I wanted to get stuff for Mother's Day so I ended up getting these pajamas for Alana which are so cute. I feel like these are kind of really nice for year round anyway and I feel like this is a really nice like neutral print. I was going to get a pink at first but then I was like actually I feel like this is nicer for year round and you probably get more wear out of it. So I've got her these pajamas which are really nice. I also just got her a new makeup bag and then also this bag as well which is like a similar uh, well, it's the same material, but I was thinking that would be nice for skincare or hair stuff. And then for my mum, I got her this really gorgeous cashmere sweater. She doesn't like presents, and she's, in my opinion, really hard to buy for. Like, she doesn't like spa days or anything like that. She just... Honestly, she doesn't like really anything. Um, she usually, like, I'll do, like, an experience. Like, we've done cooking classes or horse riding and things like that. But she does love scarves. So I'm hoping she likes this one. I was really unsure about like the color to get her but I feel like this is nice and neutral and perfect for winter and if she doesn't like it she can just go swap it over anyway so this stuff I don't know what the total ended up coming to but anyway I'll try and explain in a second and then I also got this stuff for me because I wasn't actually going to get this stuff I was just going to get this but the total with all this I think came to it was like 11.30 or something. She was like, if you spend 70 more dollars, you get an, an extra $200 off. And I was like, oh my God, okay. So then I was looking for things $70. This came to more. I'm trying to work out the best way to explain it. But basically, I originally spent $560 and my total ended up coming with all of the savings. I think this all together would have been like $1,400. But then with the spend and save, it came down to $900 and then I had points, so it came down to like $880. So technically, I only spent like $320 for all of this extra stuff on top of what I got the other day. Like, sorry, that is just incredible. Obviously, if I hadn't gotten all of this stuff, I would have saved any, like even more, but I'd already spent that money. So if we're thinking about girl math, like I got so much stuff for $300 and it's all incredible. Like this is literally a cashmere sweater. This alone is $250 so like amazing honestly and then I just also got them some cards so this is for my mom and then this one's for Alana which I think is really cute happy first ever Mother's Day I've come home to a heap of PR which is very exciting I'm always super grateful to receive gifting and PR stuff first of all Natalie Ann hair honestly obsessed with all of this she has absolutely spoilt me i feel so lucky i met her when i was with tasha staying at the intercontinental the other week for that nookie event and she has just sent me so much stuff i am in shock so we have a blowout brush we also have so that's a round blowout brush this one is a round so they're different sizes then I have heard incredible things about these. These are just um, like clips to keep your hair pinned up like if you're doing a blowout or something. But they actually won't like kink your hair, which is amazing. Then we also have some of these which help with your hair health so much. And I've actually never owned any. So I'm excited to use them and help with not tying my hair up so much. Then we also just have some little beauty clips as well, which are really cute for just keeping your hair up out of your face while you're doing your glam. Also have a mini wet and dry brush. Oh, so it's a mini one. I'll have to get these out and show you guys as well. This is a hydrating repair mask for my hair, which sounds incredible. My hair needs all of the help it can get with all of my swimming. This is a soft shaping texture spray. 
honestly this packaging as well like it feels so just nice and incredible and just high quality and then this is the volumizing dry shampoo so i'll get out these brushes and I love the color. Wow. Honestly, she's done such an incredible job with this packaging. So nice. Oh my god, this is so cute. <laughs> this is so cute. Look at it. I love the like tones she's gone for. This is stunning. Again, feels incredible. And then we also have this one. So thank you so much, Natalie. I'm so excited to use all of this. Oh no, I smushed the cake. This is just a really cute little cake that Bondi Bruce sent me. Nothing else came, just that. So <laughs> thank you, Bondi Boost. I Loki want a mouthful. I'm gonna have to throw it out because otherwise I will try and eat the whole thing. It's actually so small though, you guys. Like look how tiny it is. It's so cute. Like it's literally so small, but I will have to have at least a mouthful before she goes. I wish I had, like, I wish Jake would have some or something, but there's no way he would eat that. And I can't think of anyone that would have cake right now. Um, then this is from Summer Skin. And I've actually never received stuff from them before. I know that Georgie Stevenson, who owns um, Naked Harvest, has recently, I feel like it was a little while ago, but she became a co-founder and she loves these products and I love everything that she does. So I'm really excited to try these. We have Glow Drops. Lip Repair Oil. This deodorant smells amazing. Citrus Blast. I'm going to give that a try and see how I like it. And we have a Skin Repairing Oil and Complete Hydrate, which honestly all sound incredible. Also came with a hair curler, a gua sha, and it came in this little box, which I thought was really cute for PR. And also this tote bag. This also arrived from Naked Harvest, which is so exciting. It's Georgie's collab with them. So some of these flavors that they actually used to have as limited edition, and they brought them back again for a limited time only, which is really exciting. The white chocolate caramel swirl protein powder is so good. If I remember from memory, I'm going to make my protein smoothie with it tomorrow just to switch things up and see how it goes. But I feel like that will be really yummy. Or maybe I'll make oats or something with that. I feel like that will be good too. And I haven't had oats in ages, and it's definitely the weather for oats at the moment protein oats are so good so i might do that um, then we also just have this pre-workout flavor mango passion fruit which sounds really yummy and fresh also because these are limited edition once they sell out they won't be restocked again so make sure you guys get in quickly my discount code as always 15 percent off is just ali 15 then this product is new i believe it's white chocolate caramel flavored moon milk which i feel like will be delicious i'm not gonna be like i'm not gonna lie to you guys i honestly haven't really doubled in all of the moon milk that much but everyone raves about them so i really want to try and get into the habit of having them every night and i'll give this one a try and hopefully this one just ticks me over because if i can find one that i really love that will be amazing and then and honestly i haven't tried all of them but i want to try them all then we also just have the limited edition wizard and then also the bottle as well so i'm really excited to try these this one i've had before I can't remember if I've had this or not before, but mango passion fruit definitely sounds like something I would like. And then this one I'm really excited to try as well. I feel like that'll be so yummy. I'm excited to try that as well. These also just came. I already have these shoes, literally the exact same color, but they are pretty damaged to be honest because I've worn them so much. Like they literally have like holes in the front and um there's like they're like broken on the inside so but i love them so i just got a new pair because the other pair i'm going to throw out because they're just a bit yuck now but honestly i love these shoes so much just i feel like this shape is the most flattering on me in the new balance just the 530s and i feel like gray goes with everything and they're really good for when i'm playing tennis too i really enjoy them because they're super light so i feel like i can like run around and be like really airy on my feet also go with all my tennis outfits so obviously i have to get the same oh my god my face is so oily but i just had more packages come so i sent down to reception to grab them and we have a different receptionist and she's so sweet and she was like how was your cake and i feel so bad because 
literally everyone I know is away at the moment so I didn't like save it like I just put it in the bin because otherwise I can't control myself and I would have eaten it and I just wish I had thought to like slice it up and take it down so at least I know for next time if I get PR and stuff I can just like cut it up and then I'll take it down on a plate and then people can just like grab it as it comes she was like everyone was asking like what it tasted like because it looks so good or like whatever so at least other people in the building can just like grab a bit as they're coming and going but that was a really like good idea but she was also really cute so i hope i hope she um i hope she stays because she's really nice okay so princess polly i won't show you guys you'll have to stay tuned for that haul but my discount code for the month is ali polly 20 for 20 percent off i also do have a really exciting giveaway going live on the 17th over on my tiktok and that's where you will go into the running to i think it's gone the pr list or something along those lines so there'll be more info on that soon i also got this really gorgeous pajama set from olivia jean and it is so cute the material is really nice and soft as well so cute i'm so excited to wear this then i have some outfit options for tomorrow and then these are new from naked harvest Sticky Date Pudding. Sticky Date Pudding is one of my all-time favorite desserts, so I'm really excited to try that one. And then we also have salted caramel flavored as well. And then this must have been what was meant to come around the same time as the cake. My bad, but celebrating their new infrared bounce brush. So it must be like a heated brush, which is super cool. Very exciting. It's dinner time. I am so excited. I just realized I forgot to show you guys my lasagna dish as well. I'll show you that in a second, or you'll at least see it once I start well obviously when i start making this but we have all of our ingredients for our lasagna keep it in mind i'm sort of like doing my own version oh beef mince as well i'll grab that out um but yeah i'm gonna do like a vodka pasta vibe so you guys will see it all come to life <laughs> that would have been helpful what to watch and i really want to re-watch the fast and furious movies they're not jake's favorite and he um he had a really successful launch this morning for sweat so it was his bigger biggest like ever launch like he sold ten thousand plus units or something which is just insane sorry he didn't sell that much he sold out of a heap of the stock but there is still some stuff left over but he had ordered ten thousand units which is just wild um so he's just in brisbane tonight celebrating with his team so i'm just chilling waiting for my lasagna to cook and 
and I think I how funny literally we're connected to Jake's dad's Disney Plus and uh, his little sister made our thing like our DP Ursula isn't she just lovely so that's amazing um I'm thinking of watching the longest ride like the new one or Fast and Furious from the start because I do really want to watch them again. I love Paul Walker so much. Yay, let's do it. I don't know if I want to save this for like a trip to Sydney where I'm alone or something though. Like when I've like got the hotel room to myself and I'm, you know, eating Uber Eats or something or if I just watch it now. I feel like I'll watch it now, surely. Or Fast and Furious. I'm going to save it. I'll watch Fast and Furious, but honestly, love this movie so much. I also really want to watch, what's that new one that's come out? I've got to say The Idea of You, but I think I'm going to save that to watch with Jake. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Which one's the first one? Surely one, two, three, four, five, six. No, they're not in order. Who's joined me? Hi, Romy. Hi. Hi. You're so cute. You get scared of the camera, don't you? I think it's just the stop one, so I'm just gonna go with that. Milo's asleep in bed. Hey. You came out to hang out with mummy though. <laughs> Look who's joined us! I also don't think I've actually ever seen the first Fast and the Furious. Only the, like maybe like three onwards. Oh my gosh. That looks so good. Yum. Yum. Delicious. Good morning. It is Saturday today. I'm not going to neighborhood this morning because no one is going. They all have things on. Crystal's still away in Europe. Alana has a wedding today and yeah, honestly, I just don't really feel like going anyway, so that's all good. Jake and I are going to take the boys for a different walk to usual. We're going to start at the holiday and then walk towards like Miami and Burley instead because we never do that. We always just end up walking from ours. But I feel like it'll be nice just for a change of scenery and Jake hasn't had the coffee from the holiday before. Neither have I because I'm still on my matcha grind, but I've heard it's good, so I hope he likes it. I'm just wearing my new little zip up i'll just zip it up as well all csb these tights are one of my favorites to wear with white and they're super cute and then i don't think did i show you guys that i got these new shoes just for new balance it feels so weird they feel just so fresh and just not worn in they're kind of really stiff and a bit uncomfortable as well at the moment but they'll um once i wear them in they'll be good and they do look really nice and fresh My girlfriend Sophie's birthday lunch in Brisbane this afternoon, which is going to be so nice. We're doing it at their place and it's been like catered and everything and I feel like it'll be really nice. The dress code is white, so yeah, Jake's like doing basically white, but I'm definitely doing white. I feel like it's easier for girls though. Um, so I'm just doing this really gorgeous dress from Meshki. It's really pretty. It's like sort of crochet, but it's lined, which is amazing, so I don't need to worry about um, I like it being see through or anything and then it also has this cut out at the back which is super cute it's not like too showy though it's like a really good amount I feel then just have my Gucci bag um, some little thong heels and jewelry <laughs> birthday lunch it was so nice i'm so sad that we couldn't stay for longer but also not sad because we are actually on babysitting duties with miss penelope tonight which is really exciting 
Henry and Alana are at a wedding tonight and we're looking after little Miss P, which is really exciting. She's honestly so freaking cute. So I was gonna have a really chill night in. We just picked her up. It's like five o'clock now, it's just past five. So I'm gonna watch a movie with her, order some food in for dinner tonight, and then yeah, put her to bed and stuff, which will be so cute. We're gonna have a little shower with her. She's so cute. Do you wanna say hey? Do you wanna say hi? Hello. She's so cute. Hello. Hi. The boys are literally obsessed with her. So if you can hear them, they're being very annoying. Hi, can I have a smile? Yeah. I love our little sound. Yeah, so cute. <laughs> Let's try this moo milk. So this is the white chocolate caramel flavor and apparently it tastes like caramel vibes. So I'm very interested to see how it tastes. It's just four scoops of powder and then just a little bit of hot water and your milk of preference. I'm just going to use coconut milk because that's all I've got. Alright, let's do a taste test. Oh my god. Yum, you guys. Wow. It literally is giving like a hot cup of caramel. Mm. That's delicious. So, in terms of moon milk, what does it say? I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but it says, get ready to transform your nighttime routine. Sit back, relax, and enjoy a dreamy blend of delicious moon milk. Perfect hot or cold moon milk is your new bedtime best friend. Sip away the day. I'm pretty sure it has like magnesium. Yeah, it has magnesium in it, and... Uh, that is what helps with having a really good night's sleep. So I'm gonna sip on this before bed. Delicious. As always, my code is written in the description and my link is also left in the description too. But this is really good. Mm. Definitely recommend. I'll have to try all the flavors and let you guys know my favorite, but this is incredible. Hey. <laughs> you have one? Roomy. And this one? Hey. Hey. Hi. Alright, let's do it, Missy Moo. Let's show them your outfit. <laughs> Say hey guys, do you like my outfit? Alrighty. Ready and sink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Beanie's coming off. Oh, yeah. Guys, she's literally just falling asleep. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're awake again. Good morning. Excuse, this is like the end of a breakout on my face and I feel like I'm gonna have to get a facial or something to try and get rid of like the pigmentation and discoloration from it which is a little bit annoying but that's okay um I haven't really vlogged much this morning we've just been on babysitting duties so she slept really well last night that was all good and I went for a run this morning with my girlfriend Michaela we ran 7k it just did like a six minute pace just Took it nice and easy in like zone two, if you guys know much about running. So that was really good. And I just love that I can run now and like hold a conversation and catch up with a girlfriend like while running. Like I think that's so cool. So we did that. And then we have just been cleaning up the apartment and just hanging out with P as well. We took her for a walk with the dogs, which was a little bit chaotic just mostly because of the dogs um once we like got going they were fine but they're just a little bit annoying to be honest um penelope's great though she fell asleep she's just the best she's honestly like a dream child um and we are going to head out now we're gonna go to flannery's and just get some groceries for the week and then we're also gonna meet henry and alana 
for brunch as well um and then we'll obviously do our little handover as well so p will go back to mummy and daddy but before we meet them we're gonna yeah do some groceries and stuff quickly as well i'm just keeping it full mum mode vibes for today i just have this jumper on just a little crop jumper from glassons i just have my gray csb active wear on and then just my sneakers I'll show you guys in the mirror this is the outfit of the day just keeping it really practical i just have my active wear on i've also got a little light gray top on underneath here as well it's really cute and then just have the pink over the top and then just my sneakers from brunch it was really good i'm sorry i didn't really end up filming much of it i got distracted we were playing with miss p but i thought i'd show you guys what we got from flannery so we also went to the butcher as well and just got some meat um and then some eggs as well jake that's like the protein powder he likes it's like organic and grass-fed and stuff um whereas i obviously have my naked harvest and then uh, honestly this is mostly just stuff for jake he likes this chocolate so he got this i got this it's like a dark mint choc chip one and it's got no added sugar in it um that's for jake we also ordered a tea like an actual proper teapot because jake <laughs> honestly the things this man knows that like he just listens to like i think he listens to like four podcasts a day or something and it says something about I don't take all of this on board, but if there's some things that are just easier, which he would prefer, then obviously do it. Um, so we ordered a teapot because apparently the tea leaf bags, when they're boiled, like put in hot water, they, I don't know if it's like BPA or something along those lines, like the tea bags when they are heated or like in, put in boiling water, release like a chemical or something that isn't good for you so i'm absolutely butchering that um but so we ordered a teapot because we want to have tea um we just haven't like gotten around to it recently because yeah jake he told me about that quite a few months ago now but anyway he wants to start having tea so we've got this one they had little samples in the store and this one smelled really good it's called restful relaxing and restoring organic loose leaf tea and these are the ingredients which all look really nice we did actually get these so these do have tea bags they are in tea bags sorry um but jake said we can just take them out of the tea bags and then put it in the pot once it arrives you also got dates alkaline water capsicum we got some bananas for our smoothies pumpkins for jake as well and then some apples too. I kind of did gro groceries. Um, I sort of did groceries not too long ago, so I didn't really need anything, but that's what we got. I'm gonna sign up this vlog though now, you guys, because honestly, I'm gonna have a power nap. I'm so tired from that bagel. Usually, Jake and I would like share the bagel and then something else, whereas I had the bagel all to myself, and I literally like feel like I'm about to pass out. Like, I'm so tired, and I just need a nap after those carbs. It was really good though. Um, and then after that, I'm just going to be busy doing some Euro summer planning. We weren't sure if we were going to go or not, but we've decided that we are going to go. But we're literally leaving just over in like just over a month. So that means I need to get planning ASAP and get everything sort of sorted. So that's what I'm going to be doing this afternoon it's just getting stuck into that so if you've made it this whole way through thank you so so much for watching as always i love you so much and i'll see you in my next vlog we also have one week until the try so next week's vlog will be try weekend which is crazy very exciting nerve-wracking but it should be good so i will be vlogging that as well if you guys want to come along